Hello, we are going to talk about piecewise defined functions here. And really what happens is we take pieces from several different graphs and put them together. They are going to be valid on a certain domain. And we want to start out by evaluating a function on these different domains. We have the piecewise defined function here defined on negative infinity to 2 with this line and 2 to infinity with this parabola. Really, we're breaking up the graph into two different pieces. When x is less than or equal to 2, our function is the first, negative 2 times x minus 2. When x is greater than 2, we're going to use another function. f of x is equal to x minus 1, the quantity squared. When we evaluate these functions, what we're trying to do is find the y value for the specific x value. The first thing we want to do is we want to figure out what x value we're using. I'm evaluating the piecewise defined function at negative 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to use the f function and start out when x is equal to negative 1. That is my input. When x equals negative 1, I'm going to be using this function here because I have this domain. My function rule is f of x is equal to negative 2 times the quantity 1 minus 2. I plug in negative 1 for my x in this function here. Let's do that. I will have negative 2 times the negative 1 I'm going to plug in minus 2. You can see that we're going to plug in that negative 1 right here where my x is. And if I evaluate this, I have negative 2 times negative 1 minus 2, which is negative 3. My answer is 6. If we look over here at the graph, you might be able to see that point negative 1, 6. Here is about my negative 1, and if I go up here, sure enough, my function is 6. Remember, it is a function, so we're not going to be using two different rules because we only get one function value back for a function. All right, let's try 2. When x is equal to 2, we're still using this function, but just barely, because this is true when x is less than or equal to 2. We use the same function rule. Let's plug it in. Here I have negative 2 times, I plug in my 2 minus 2, which is equal to negative 2 times 0, which is equal to 0. That will be my answer. And again, if you look on the graph, when I'm at 2, when my x value is at 2, I'm here at 0, just as expected. All right. When we have this graph, we don't include that 2 value. Of course, this is going to be a hole up here because we go all the way to 2, but not past. So let's try 3. When my x value is 3, do you have a guess of what my function value would be? Well, 
we're definitely going to use this function rule this time, the parabola. And if I plug in three, it looks to me like I'm up here at four. If you said four, you're probably right. Let's check it out. I'm using that parabola function rule. So I have my input, which is three minus one squared. Three minus one is two and two squared is four just how we thought. The thing to remember is when we're dealing with piecewise defined functions, the first thing you wanna do is find the domain, figure out which function you're using. The second thing you do is plug that point in and use the function rule that's in the domain. The first two, we use this rule. The second one, since x is greater than two, when we have x is equal to three, we use that second rule. And finally, we evaluate. If we have the graph, we can check it out. All right, I hope that's helped. Thank you.